So last week I went 10 and 6. So in my picks for week 2. Wasn't the best week, but it wasn't terrible at all. I nailed the Monday night picks. I nailed the Sunday night picks. I nailed the 49ers beating the Bengals. Other games that got me were games like the Seahawks over the Steelers. The Colts edging out the Titans. I didn't pick that to happen. And Well, I was wrong about that. And I was wrong about the Saints. I thought they were going to get their revenge on the Rams. But, of course, you all saw what happened with Drew Brees. But that being said, let's go over week three. Week three, the Titans head into Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. I have the Titans bouncing back from their loss over the, um, to the Colts and beating the Jaguars on the road. The Titans have had the Jaguars' numbers over the years. They've won four of the last five games, so I expect it to continue here, especially with the Jaguars hurting as much as they are. The Bengals go into Orchard Park, New York. I see the Bills keeping themselves high and mighty. They go to 3-0, and but I think it's going to be a closer game than many people suspect. I think the Bills will pull away at the very end. They'll probably win this game by 10 points. Their defense is amazing, and Josh Allen is coming into his own. I may owe Bills Mafia an apology later down the line. The Cowboys are going to beat the Dolphins 38-7. to Yes, I predict the Dolphins will only allow 38 points on this day. They're somehow not going to get blown away by 40. The Dolphins are just a garbage fire. The Packers are going to beat the Broncos at home. So that's going to put them at 3-0, and and no one is really talking about the Packers right now. But I see them doing good things, so they're going to take out the Broncos, who are just utterly worthless on offense. Falcons going to Indianapolis this is a hard game to pick, but right now I'm going with the Colts. The reason why I'm going with the Colts is that I like their defense and their running game better. Um, despite how bad Marlon Mack did last week, I think the Colts have the better offensive line better defensive line, everything else. The Falcons have Matt Ryan. That's their advantage over Jacoby Brissett. Brissett. But right now, the Colts, I give them the edge at home. The hot Ravens come into Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. Another player I might have been wrong about, Lamar Jackson. You know what, though? This is a big test. Let's see if he could take it in Kansas City. I'm going to go with the Chiefs right now because they tend to be really good at home. And, of course, you know, they know how to play the Ravens, so I have the Chiefs winning that game. Raiders going to Minneapolis to take on the Vikings. They're going to bounce back from their loss to the Packers, take down the Raiders. And the New York Jets going to the Foxborough to take on the Patriots, and Sam Darnold is still out with Mono. The Patriots are going to crush the Jets here. Lions are going into Philly to take on the Eagles. I have Carson Wentz finishing this one off and handing the Lions their first loss of the season. The Eagles are going to go to 2-1. and one. Carolina's going into Arizona to take on the Cardinals. I know a lot of people are on the hate train for the Carolina Panthers, but I honestly think they're a better team than their 0-2 record suggests. I think they go into Arizona and pull off the win here, saving their season at least temporarily, beating the Cardinals and handing them their second loss of the year. The Giants are going into Tampa Bay. Giants are just as worthless as the Jets. They're just as worthless as... As the Raiders, they're not going to do anything here. They're going to lose to Tampa. Uh, Mike Evans will come alive, and so will my uh, Chris Godwin. And the Bucks will throw and run wild all over the Giants. Texans go into Carson to take on the Chargers. This is going to be a difficult game to predict. The Texans are very capable of winning this game on the road. Chargers play really badly in September. I think it's going to go down to the wire. But I think the Chargers will have learned their lesson from last week. They'll eke out a victory. Mike Williams will be a contributor in this game. So the Chargers take down the Texans. The Drew Breedless Saints go into Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Russell Wilson leads the Seahawks to a big win over the Saints here. Saints try to keep it close, but they're going to just struggle again. The Pittsburgh Steelers go into Santa Clara to take on the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers are off to a hot 2-0 start. I see them winning again. Uh, basically, the Steelers have no Ben Roethlisberger. They just got Minka Fitzpatrick for their defense. That might be a big boon for them, but who's going to throw the ball? Who's going to run the ball? 49ers take them down. The Bears, uh, well, actually, let's do the Sunday night football game. The Rams go into Cleveland to take on the Browns. I'm going with the Rams to win this game, basically because I think the Rams have probably the most talented team in the league, and I think they're going to outcoach the Browns. But I think the Browns will keep it close. So the Rams win that game on Sunday Night Football. 
Chicago Bears go into Landover, Maryland to take on the Redskins, and they're going to win this game 20-12. to Do you agree with my picks? Do you think any other games will go differently? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.